mindset is a, is a neurological muscle we have. It's not placebo, it's a real muscle, neural activity. When that unites, it's called the willpower. And you can really connect with that into any part of the brain. We thought a will is somewhere there. It's not over there, it's right over here, and it's a muscle. And you are able to, to go with that will. Uh, a power is a center in the brain, prefrontal cortex, going into the brain stem. The brainstem is about survival, but because we live every day in a very controlled environment like uh, the world where we live in with the heat, the cold, sedentary lifestyles, it going into the car, we got it all controlled by our thinking, not by our feeling anymore. Not the nature is coming to us anymore, thus the deeper parts, the old brain, the reptilian brain. The brain stem and the limbic system is not being lived anymore. It's all there, the food is there in the supermarket, you don't need to find it. <laughs> but the dangers are still there. When the dangers come, like inflammation, causing inflammation, then we don't know how to tap into those deeper parts of the brain because we were thinking all the time. Thus, 25% of our blood flow goes into this thinking brain. How to deal with stress on your body? Just by using your mind. And stress on your body could be caused by biological stress, mm -hmm. physical stress, emotional stress, yeah. any stress. But in the end, it is cell biological stress. And we have a possible connection between our will and the part of our brain which is dealing internally, just through the mind, using the mind, with stress with the result of stress. Where normally we get into depression or anxiety and fear, trauma, PTSD, psychosis, all those things, it's because we don't have a hold on those key components of those autonomous processes. Autonomous is outside of the will, now it's inside of the will, shown in, in the brain scan, and that to regulate your mood or the emotion itself to bring uh, uh, people to the awareness that they are in control over their beautiful emotions through their beautiful mind. And a lot of people are suffering in this world. That we have an ability to tap into the deepest part of the brain and solve all the matters related to mental disorders and having no control. And there is no pill, no medicine involved it's your own awareness, your own power. The cold makes your mind still. You cannot picnic, you cannot think about your words or about your mortgage. Making money, very nice, great. But uh, I don't want pills, I don't want medicine, I want happiness, strength and health. If you are happy, how much money do you need? Because in the end, love is the greatest power in the universe. If you are in love with somebody, then uh, you fly. You just, you, nobody can stop you. So that love is the biggest one. And that love you got, not only for your woman, you got it also for your children. You got it for, uh, uh, and we should have it for nature. But, because then you don't even need to respect. You love it, you're not gonna damage it. And we lost that because we lost the connection. We should not be individualized through schooling to become a tough motherfucker hitting with the elbows to the others because you got to compete and you become strong there. That's not strength, that is aggression. Strength is where we help each other to become the best of ourselves. Fear only exists because we are too much into our time, space, little area, narrowed consciousness. And when there is narrow consciousness uh, in the future, things will happen wherein you will have to go to another part of the brain to solve the matter at that moment. Those are the life lessons, but it is too narrowed. So that's why the fear comes in. And the fear says only one thing, go to me and find out why I'm here. It's a signal, like pain is a signal. Psychologically, fear is there. The goal is merciless but righteous. So that's it. it's always there. You can always depend and always 
you are able to tap into the depth of yourself by going through the initial reflexes of the cold coming up upon you. And then suddenly you get a deep peace and deep power. To learn to own your own mind, because it's beautiful. Then you sense a power and you become powerful, you become proud and you are a protector and you live in harmony with nature around you, inside, outside, same thing. Uh, our energy doesn't need so much to survive and to be. We got so much more energy and we naturally give that. For that we first have to know who we are and for that we need that control and for that we are into the science to show everybody has it. Have the courage to go to, uh, through fear. Mm. Find out who you really are. And heal as many as you can. Find your real power. It's much more than we thought. Once again, I'm a dropout from school. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm teaching professors and doctors all over the world. I got a holistic view. <coughs> And the holistic view comes from nature. Nature knows more than we have stated in books and gotten into our minds, narrowing us down, and thus it is able to be corrupted. The soul cannot be corrupted. That's who we are. That is the power I wish for everybody to find. Have the courage to go to, uh, through fear. Find out who you really are and heal as many as you can.